Hey everyone, today we are coming to you with a really important message for those of you who might be looking to buy or sell a manufactured home. Now, there are three things that are really important to know, especially when you're getting ready to list your manufactured home for sale. Number one, you need to have a title. Many times owners find that they've lost their title over time or it was misplaced and um, they no longer know where it is, so they need to get a new title. Now, in order to get a new title, when you live in the state of Michigan and own a manufactured home, the Secretary of State requires you to go in in person as of right now um, and get that new title um, at a local branch. Now, if you live out of state, there is um, instructions online, and I will show you what that page looks like on the Secretary of State website, um, where you can go and you can request it because you live out of state. Now, the number two thing that you're going to need is an affidavit of a fixture. The affidavit of a fixture is going to be required if um, you have someone getting financing to purchase your manufactured home. So if you don't have a title, you're not going to be able to get your affidavit of a fixture. Uh, when you go to get the affidavit of a fixture, you can do that online. There is a fillable PDF form, um, and I'll show you a picture of what that looks like, where you can fill that out um, and you can submit this form along with a fee of, it looks like about $90 in the state of Michigan, and you need to include a copy of your title with that form when you send it off. Now, affidavit of a fixtures must also be signed in front of a notary. All of your local banks are gonna have a notary in-house. With the current um, pandemic that we're living in, it might be wise to call ahead of time to your local branch office and ask them if a notary is available ahead of time to sign um, in front of you. So when you take that form, fill it out, print it off, and then sign it in front of a notary, a notary will notarize it, and then you'll send that in with your fee and with your title. Typically, about seven to 10 days after they receive it, they will get you an affidavit of a fixture. Now, if you don't do this, and then you have a buyer buying your manufactured home, you could come to the end of a transaction and be delayed for a significant amount of time um, because it does take seven to 10 days after you get the paperwork submitted before they're able to get you what you need. So that is really important to know. The number three thing, you need to have HUD tags on your home. So those HUD tags can be found, um, they can be found inside, usually inside of a, a cupboard, usually in the kitchen, or uh, many times they can be found on the exterior of the home on a corner, um, and they're usually pretty visible. They're like a plate that you're looking for with numbers. An appraiser, when they come to appraise your home, they're gonna be looking to take a picture of those HUD tags and they're gonna need it for the lender. So if the HUD tags are missing, you're also gonna need to order those. So those are the top three things that you need to pay attention to when you go to list your manufactured home. If you have questions regarding buying or selling manufactured homes, feel free to reach out to us and we are happy to help. And if you have any prayer requests, please, as always, don't hesitate to reach out. God bless you.